everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet a half double slip stitch, which you can see a swatch of here in front of you. It's a quite a simple stitch, but it works up beautifully. It creates a solid fabric that has a little bit of stretch to it. Uh, it's fairly thick and it's the same on both sides so I could see this pattern being used in a variety of ways uh, such as some blankets or a headband uh, or a scarf or even some cozy slippers. So this is a stitch that we're going to learn how to crochet. Thank you so much for joining me. While you're here I invite you to subscribe and check out some of the other video tutorials here on my channel. It's updated weekly with a free stitch tutorial and then as well with free crochet patterns. So thank you so much for joining me. Let's grab our hooks and yarn and we'll learn how to crochet the half double slip stitch. For our stitch tutorial today, I'm going to be using a little bit of the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Your Inspirations, as well as a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And you can find links to both of these items in this description of this video. As well, there in the description, you'll find a link to the free written crochet pattern, which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So our double half double slip stitch today is worked in rows. You're going to start by making your slip knot. And this can be worked with any number of stitches in your foundation chain. So today I'm going to go ahead and chain 21. There's 10. and 21. Once you have your desired uh, length of foundation chain, you're going to begin by working into the second chain from your hook and you're going to work your first half double slip stitch. So to work your half double slip stitch, you're going to yarn over into that second chain from your hook, insert your hook. You're then going to yarn over and draw up a loop and continue drawing that loop through the two loops that are on your hook. And that's your first half double slip stitch. You're going to continue that all the way across. So yarn over into the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, and continue to pull that loop through the two loops on your hook, like so. Repeat that all the way across. At the end of your row, you're going to chain one and turn your work. At the end of your first row, you chain one and turn your work. You can see that you have a nice thick foundation row there. Now for your row two, for your first stitch, you're going to work into that stitch directly below your chain one. Work a half double slip stitch, yarning over, insert your hook under both loops yarn over, draw up a loop, and continue drawing that loop through the two loops on your hook. And you're going to repeat that across, and that's really all there is to working this half double uh, slip stitch. You will notice that even though you are working under these two top loops as you normally would work in a stitch, you will notice that you are still getting a little bit of a ribbing effect uh, and some great texture there. So this is uh, quite a simple, easy, fun stitch to work and uh, it gives you that little bit of fun texture. So thank you so much for joining me. You're going to, for this row, you're going to continue all the way across, chain one, turn your work, and then repeat this row two for as long as you would like uh, your half double slip stitches 
to work for. Thank you so much for joining me, and uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe. Be sure to check in again next week for another great stitch tutorial. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.